The next level of verification that I want to go to it are oh God, the actual cities that were found. I'm going to give you some more books. Um, in the late 1800s and the early 1900s, William Niven, who wrote uh, a few books, studied in the Valley of Mexico, and in the late 1800s and the early 1900s, he wrote several materials documenting cities that go back to the Pleistocene era. Now, I'm not talking about stone carvings and little flints and stone. I'm talking about cities with buildings and artwork in them. He found the home of a goldsmith who sold jewelry. Now, the Pleistocene era, according to modern archaeologists, the Pleistocene era goes back to how far back? Approximately two million years ago, you had cities in Mexico that William Nivens found in uh, and around Mexico City. Materials that he wrote on these particular things and where you can find them. Again, this information is rare, brothers and sisters. You're not going to get this by just running down to the library. You have to travel places to get this particular information. One of the books is called Among the Mound Builders in Unexplored Guerrero, which is in Mexico. If you want to get this book, you can travel to Ohio at the Ohio Historical Society in Columbus, Ohio. That's the only place you're going to find this writing by William Nivens talking about these cities that are millions of years old that were covered by volcanic ash, showing that they suffered a cataclysm that caused their ultimate demise. Another book is called Photographs from the Stele of Guerrero, Mexico, at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York. Now, I've been here and I've seen this book. And what he does is he shows the actual murals left on the walls of these particular cities that have been preserved. And on the murals, you see black people. Now, you're not supposed to see black people in cities that are buried under the mountains that are in the Pleistocene era that are 2 million years old. You're not supposed to see this. But it's there in Mexico. So why are we trying to make the Olmec as coming from Al Kibalan or Africa when they themselves said where they came from, including their uh, descendants, the Tudushi, which we call the so-called Maya or the Amaru. They said where they came from. Now I got bombed on this one. You had Sara Sutton Seti bombing me. You had Ishmael Allah bombing me saying that Mu was a mythical city. When I have been to Mesoamerica and read the glyphs myself at the pyramid of Zaki Calco and other pyramids where these particular people said that their descendants were from a landmass to the west of them that they call Mu. It's in the glyphs. It's been interpreted and translated several times by several different scholars. And not only that, these further records that I'm showing you verify it. And not only that, we provided the people with a map from Ica, Peru that showed these particular continents, which means somebody wanted to leave these records for us. All right. So another book that you can, you can get on William Nimbus is called Buried Cities and Forgotten Gods by Robert Wicks. And in this particular book, he goes through and breaks down his uh, his dig that he did in the Valley of Mexico, and he found three levels of cities: one in the Pleistocene area, and one in the Tertiary area. Now, he go, the rabbit hole gets deeper because when you calculate how old the Tertiary era is. You have a problem. The tertiary era goes back 63 million years according to modern archaeology. Now, this man, William Niven, was considered one of the most renowned archaeologists of his time. And his people like uh, the, the, uh, uh, James Churchward and other New Agers who wrote books off of his information. But William Niven's who was considered an orthodox 
archaeologists made these findings and made these reports and these rare books that you can't get anywhere. You got to travel all across the United States to even see these particular books that I'm mentioning. Photographs from the state of Guerrero, Mexico in 1895, which is at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York. That's the only place that you can find that particular book. And among the mound builders in unexplored Guerrero at the Ohio Historical Society in Columbus, Ohio, that's the only place that you can find that book. You will find depictions of what's in those books, again, in this book, Buried Cities and Forgotten Gods by Robert Wicks. And, of course, the city that I'm mentioning, they found bones of homo sapiens in this particular city buried under volcanic ash in the tertiary era, era 63 million years ago somebody speak to me somebody holler black at me how did black folk depicted on the murals found the bones with the uh, negroid uh, genetic markers on the bones which are reported by Niven in the Valley of Mexico 63 million years ago with cities and buildings that got crumbled by some type of cataclysm. Talk black to me. So when we talk about these Amaru and we talk about the Turushi, so-called Olmec, so-called Maya, 16.4 billion year calendar, cities before the mountains even developed on the earth, we have hard archaeological evidence that proves that we are the oldest people, not only on this land mass, but the oldest people on the planet. Right here in the hells of North America, in the hells of Central America, in the hells of South America. Calling ourselves Afro-Brazilian, Afro-Peruvian, African-American. Completely denationalized, with no knowledge of self, and with nobody to bring us this information. So, William Nivens, get your studying on.